Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to get a trophy ruff and a Chinese sleeper. Today we are after two trophies which are not as common on Mosquito Lake. We will try to get either the Eid or Perch trophy. But before we go for a trophy hunt this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try out your fishing spots. From this spot I managed to get a huge variety of fish worth mentioning are Eid, Nace, White Eye Bream, Perch, a Donetsk Ruff, which was at that point also a weekly record, and a Blue Bream. I filled in the Nace cafe order for 12 silver and sold the rest of the inventory for 77 silver. This was my first ever record broadcast and I also caught my most expensive fish. Thank you for this spot. I am forever grateful. It was so much fun. It took me so long to edit all of this footage. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. I've actually never had an Eid or Perch trophy from Mosquito Lake. So this is going to be very interesting. I think for Eid, we need some different baits that we have right now. We need to either use grasshoppers or pea porridge, which we don't have access to right now. For pea porridge, we need to level up our bait harvesting but first let's give it a shot with grasshoppers and maybe we're lucky and we don't have to go through that grind yet it will save us a lot of money for gear but don't get me wrong leveling up your skills is one of the most important things to do in this game i definitely need some new leaders to go and catch eyed what a lovely weather feels like i'm at home we will go to the spot 71 79 Let's talk about the gear I will use. I will use a 56 gram quiver tip, 30 gram sinker, 6.4 kilo fluoroliter, size 1 hook and grasshopper for bait. For the ground bait, we'll just use classic eyed mix. Don't get me wrong, this is not the ideal setup. If you have something stronger, definitely go for it. But since I'm a cheap ass, I have nothing else than just a beginner feeder set. But this beginner feeder set is actually enough to catch a trophy eyed. And the clip size I will use here is 15. I've heard that this is the best clip size to use in this spot, so 15 it is. And the first fish is on. This is actually something fairly nice. Or maybe just like a 1.5 kilo eyed. But since my gear is so bad, it will try to spool me. But this one seems to be coming in fairly easily, actually. Would you look at that? That's the species we're going for. First fish is a 1.6 kilo eyed. Hey, morning bite. I like that. Oh, lost the fish. This seems like a pretty decent fish. Wait. That's a chop. No thanks. If I keep getting eyes that are like above 1 kilo, this is actually pretty good money if the bite rate is good. But so far, I've had small bream, one chop, and this is my second eye, so I'm not very happy about the results. But this was a nice eye. Okay, this one's uh, pretty strong. Let's see what this is. Hey, what a nice eye. Also, I just got a new level, and now we have access to quarry. That's cool. And what is a better way to celebrate than to sell your fish for some easy silver? And it's not the best. It's the 34 silver, but I mean, we're using grasshoppers. It is no pea porridge. I decided to go and give this spot the test for perch, because, you know, it's either eyed or perch trophy, and in the last episode, I caught quite a bit of perch from here, and it seems like we have a very nice perch on right now. 1.4 kilos. It was like 200 grams of a trophy. Okay, we just got a trophy. Out of the blank nice but still wrong episode sleeper you're like old news you know decided to move some spots again back to this old spot because you know somebody told me that the spots can die out if you're there for too long so i'm just trying to move around the lake as much as possible oh it's a bream lovely we have a fish that's uh, living on a field it's grass fed so must be good quality looks like a bream Good, this is a solid bream, at least over a kilo. 1.4 kilos. And this is something very strong, actually. What is this? This is no bream. If this is a bream, this is like a trophy bream, I think. Oh yeah, this is just stuck to the bottom. I think this is a nice height. Maybe like over 2 kilos, near 3 kilos. This is a decent fish. Come on, man. Okay, it's time to level up my ground bait making and bait harvesting, so I will buy some of the stuff that we need to do some level ups, and then the grind begins, because we need to make pea porridge and also some nice eyed ground bait. Time to make semolina until we unlock garlic though. Hopefully it won't be too expensive, we need to make quite a bit of this stuff, but thankfully we have a nice stack of cash. This should be the last one. Yep, we unlock garlic though. So now we need to buy components to make garlic though until we unlock pea porridge. We only need like 5% to get to the pea porridge, so this should be easy peasy. And this now should be the last one. We only need 0.1% Then yes, we have pea porridge unlocked. Now we only need to get the ground bait done and we are fully equipped to catch some more eyes. But I don't think I haven't been multitasking. I've been trying to catch some perch on this spot while I actually do some skilling. I think it's time to make our first ever pea porridge. 
this is satisfying i really enjoy it once you hit your goals it's just a dopamine rush that goes through your brain i absolutely love it but now it's time to make the ground bait and this is another tedious skill to get up but thankfully we're already at 20 percent so this shouldn't be too bad and this should be the last yes it is we unlocked the third level component so we can make some item mix i bought all the components already earlier so let's make some well, of course, I'm unsuccessful. Let's make another patch then. First, I'd mix. 9 out of 10 quality. Love that. Since I bought some extra stuff, might as well get the level up even more to the 5th level component. Pack to catching some perch, and we have our first fish on. Oh, a nice perch. 600 grams. I actually really enjoyed the skilling grind. It was quite fun to just click nonsensely and actually don't even think and use your brain at all. So it was all cool. We ran out of some tea and it's time to make some tea so we can get energized. I had no luck with the perch, so I decided to try out 7477 with clip size 15 and the same gear that I used before to catch some eyes. And it's the same setup. I'd mix and pea porridge. So I think we can get some easy trophies here maybe. Or maybe at least close to the trophy size. First fish is an eyed. This is a good sign. But I mean, it was the same with grasshoppers and then it flops but uh let's see hmm bream suspicious maybe after all this actually isn't a bream fest but could be an idon right now it seems to fight like an eid and it's heavy yes it's an eid it's a tiny one still but uh we will get to the trophy size soon don't worry about that i'm confident in myself 800 grams almost that's a nice fish oh did we get a big eid this time it's pulling me no this is too slow i don't think this is an eid i think this is another bream but this is like a solid bream by the way you gotta love the game's aesthetics like the fog the trees the plants everything it looks so nice what's coming through the grass okay this is a bream but this is a chubby boy so we like that 2.3 kilos and something big is on once again is this an eid or is this a bream i think this is another bream hmm. i want to catch eid with people it's not bream no actually it's an eid okay okay something just hit my other rod so hard jeez let's see what's on the other rod i think this should be an eid but this is also a nice eid over a kilo okay let's see what's on this one okay i think this is an eid it's doing weird flickering on the bar on the bottom it seemed like a big fish but now it doesn't even seem like that big anymore it's coming in quite easily oh it's an eid yep we have an absolute behemoth on the line. And I have absolutely no clue what kind of a fish this is. Can't even give a prediction. If I would, I would say it's an eid or a bream. It's trying to go to the bottom and sticking to it. But okay, it's spooling. No, another fish lost. Money-wise, we have one cafe order to fill in for 16 silver. And then the rest of the keep net is worth only 29 silver. But I'm not too mad about that. It's the first night. I'm still testing things out. It will be better later on. Hey, that's a good start to the new day. We have our first fish and it's an eyes this this looks actually pretty decent one kilo yeah i just wanted to say the pea porridge versus grasshoppers pea porridge is doing wonders on this spot what is this wait that's a beautiful carp oh that's a nice mirror i really like mirror carp they look pretty and we have something decent on once again it's daytime so i don't believe this is a brim but let's see okay another species i guess go on carp i don't like those i think on this spot i will start to get spooled super hard soon and overall i don't even know how to give commentary over this stuff it's just spooling so I'm sorry if it gets boring or repetitive. But yeah, I tried Crasshopper once again, and it seems to also work a bit better now. And this looks like a pretty big eyed. 1.4, almost 1.5. Inutra is looking decent. I like this. Okay, champions, this is actually solid fish now. Unless it's another carp, this is a very big eyed. I don't think it's a bream because it has the zoomies. You know, it just keeps going back and forth like crazy. Okay, my really is not built for this fish. <laughs> it's just going i think i need to move maybe to the right side so it doesn't go too far left because uh yeah then i will lose the fish because i think i will be outspooled i am literally too scared to even look to the left side and i just don't want the fish to go more to the right because it's big trouble then as you can see it is not tired yet and it's been like in game time two hours i think and i'm just chilling in the grass i think it is finally tired it's almost 6 a.m in the morning i need to eat i need to get my energy up but it has been a crazy fight. Could it be an eyed? Don't really see right now. Okay, I think this is an eyed. Oh, could this be a trophy eyed? It is big. That's what she said. But yeah, this is an eyed. But is this a trophy eyed? I'm not sure because I've never caught a trophy eyed. I don't know how a trophy eyed looks like. I'm a bit nervous, but this looks very big actually. But does it look like a trophy? I'm not sure. Oh, no. 61 grams off a trophy. Game, why? Doesn't matter. The grind continues. We have another eyed on, and this is a pretty decent one once again. 
1.4 kilos. I mean, the game trolled me pretty hard with that almost trophy, but it was a fun fight. And this is, again, something pretty big on the line. Let's see what this is. No way. It's like the third time already when I've lost a fish. I don't know. Do I need to upgrade my hooks or what's going on? Why do I keep losing big fish all the time? Maybe because of the pressure. Somebody said do not apply too much pressure, but I'm not really sure it's that. Almost broke my rig. This is another very big fish, so hopefully we can see what it is. No, not again. Why do I lose all the big fish, huh? I just don't get it. And we have a nice bream on. This is the first bream I've had over a very long time, actually. I need to net this one, otherwise I break my stuff. 3.3 kilos. I can definitely see myself catching a trophy from here because the biggest fish was just 60 grams under the trophy size. So this is a trophy spot for sure. There was no cafe order, but let's sell the fish. 115 silver, wow. That's a lot of money. Decent eyed. Another decent eyed. And a special eyed because we got to level 17. It doesn't unlock a new body of water, but we 18, we actually unlock a new lake. And this is another decent fish but i wouldn't get too hyped up as you've seen i've lost like four or five big fish already so far so if i lose this one it is no new news well this fish was giving me a decent fight but it's actually only 1.7 kilos and another beauty it was quiet for quite some time and now we have another banging fish on it's going fast i like this i like where this is going it is just pulling me <sighs> Compared to the two other times, we have a nice keep net and it's actually worth 108 silver. So, very nice. We are making back the money that we used to level up our ground bait making and our bait harvesting. I think since we're losing so many big fish, I need to buy myself some more expensive hooks. I think these hooks in size 1 will be fairly good. I mean, they're very expensive compared to the hooks I have right now. But if this means I won't lose the fish that much, then I'm all up for it. Oh, it's another mirror. I actually have been running across this uh, side of the lake because, I mean, it's not even that big, but it's pulling me like crazy. I really need to upgrade my gear, but I don't want to spend any money on gear upgrades right now. I will do that later. Mirrors are so pretty. I really like this. 2.7 kilos. And this rod is going off again and something's pulling it. It's not uncommon to spool on Lacertes, but uh, still, it's, uh, it's nice to see. It is quite funny how it's actually just chilling on the bottom like it's stuck between an edge or something. It's just not moving and I can't do anything. <laughs> he started moving slowly, but still I have gained no ground on the fish. It is fully in control. This looks like a nice fish and all three rods are going at once. Wow. Okay. This is nice to see. And something's pulling one of my rods. 1.6 kilos. Almost forgot to add ground bait. But yeah, I've been on this spot now for several days. It's been quite nice actually. It's quite chill. The bite rate isn't too good. It's not like you get super fast bite rates all the time. But it's still a nice place where you make some money and you can do it while AFKing. And for me, it's very nice because I do a lot of editing on the same time while fishing. So this is very relaxing and chill. Bream. Come on, calm down, Mr. Nazca. That is another nice eye. Get in the net, you slab. Yeah, nice one. I was just chilling, drinking my tea, and something is pulling me. So let's see what this is. Okay, I'm going to apply as much pressure as I can on the fish. But I also need to eat. I don't want to get low on energy. I think if I catch a trophy this time, I will also buy my guy something nice to drink. And let's see... Ooh, we got 50% bottom fishing. This means we need only 10 more to get to carp rods. And once we have that unlocked, I will definitely buy myself a Fortuna Carp Rod because one of you guys said it is worth buying a Fortuna Carp Rod over a Pickle Rod, so I will get the Carp Rod. It was quiet for a few hours, but we finally have another fish on, and this is quite solid. And it's stuck to the bottom once again. Okay, never mind, it started moving. Another 2 kilo hide. We have a pretty good collection of those. I wonder if I will ever get close to that trophy size again. Because that's 60 grams, it hurts. And another one. Time to talk about money. We will get 47 silver for the Bream Cafe order and 85 for the rest of the keep net. In total, we made 132 silver in about an hour or so. So not too bad. Eyed, another eyed. And almost a 3 kilo eye. This is the second biggest eye I've caught so far. In about 10 minutes, we made 33 silver, so not too bad. 1.3, 2 kilos, 2.2 kilos, and a chunker on the rod. It's been actually quite uneventful on Mosquito right now while trying to go for the eye trophy, but this is fun. This is breaking it up because for the past, I don't know, hour or so, I've just caught eye that's like 2 kilos or over 1 kilo, then a few bream here and there, but nothing too special. What is this? This fish was going absolutely crazy, but but it's like a 2 kilo eyed. Sometimes this game makes no sense. Yep, 2 kilos. These eyed are worth some good cash. We have only a few fish in our inventory and it's already 55 silver. I actually never realized eyed could be such good money, but I think we have another very big eyed on, or at least something fairly decent like that 2 kilo one that was trying to outspool us before. Of course. 
And this is a fairly large eye. I think this is my third or second best eye I've caught so far. 2.7. This is my third best eye I've ever caught on Mosquito right now. Time to sell the fish again. And this time the keep net is worth 175 silver. But yeah, I forgot to sell some of the fish yesterday. So it's kind of a cheating, but on the same time, not. Okay, everyone. I think we have a trophy eye on. I've been fighting this fish now for like past four hours in game time, I think. And it is not giving up and is fighting exactly like an eye. And is showing similarities to the eye that was almost trophy size. So I'm very very excited meanwhile i'm talking with monotone voice but yeah i'm excited okay it is an eyed it's an eye for sure okay it, it's an eyed but is this a trophy i don't think this is a trophy fish ah so close once again ah so close i had a few very nice eyed and bream and then this happened i caught my biggest ever fish on the account it was a 5.8 kilo common carp but it got even crazier, you will see in a second. I was just chilling, waiting for the eye, but then something different actually took my bait. And I had no clue it would be this fish. I was shocked. It has been one hell of a long fight, but the fish has finally given up. So let's see what this is. That's not an eye. Is that a carp? No, wait. Is that a preem trophy? It is. What the hell? I just got the preem trophy while going for eye on Mosquito Lake. This fish isn't even in the trophy log on Mosquito. That's insane. This fish looks very cool. 4.4 kilo bream. Just 65 grams over the trophy size. Hell yeah. Time to sell all of the fish and it comes to 90 silver because this trophy bream is over 40 silver. I think this is my new most expensive fish. Yep, new most expensive fish. It's a roach. Is this a trophy roach? I think it is. And we got the trophy roach? No way. I'm hiding in the bush again because this fish is going absolutely bananas. This fish has taken me five hours of in-game time and it's a heavy, heavy looking mirror carp. I think this could be my new biggest fish once again. It's just so hard to even get it in even though it has no energy left. It's like my rod is not suited for this fish. It is time for you to get in a net. Seven kilo fish? Seven kilo fish on this beginner set. Well, it's not worth that much, but I mean, it's money. Another three kilo eyed and a trophy roach. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> and more money once again, 84 silver. All jokes aside, I think I have another Bream Trophy on the hook right now. It is doing the exact same things as the previous Bream Trophy was doing. It is. It's another Bream Trophy. The second one already. In this episode, I've caught two roach trophies and two Bream Trophies from this spot. It's unbelievable. I mean, Trophy Bream is worth so much money, so I'm very, very happy. This fish just looks absolutely stunning. I like how they got the textures down. And this Bream is actually bigger than the previous trophy. Amazing. New person the best. I sat here so long without any trophies, and now they just keep coming in. Trophy after trophy. Another Roach Trophy. And this is exactly 1.4 kilos. This will be our new most expensive fish sold. But look at that inventory. 113 silver. This has to be a joke. I swear, if this is another trophy, I don't know. And it is. It is another Bream Trophy. What the hell? I think this spot has turned into a Bream spot instead of an Eye spot. So I need to move away from here. Or actually I should try to get the Perch Trophy, I think. But this is insane. Three Bream Trophies already. And this is somewhere in the middle of the two trophies. I was able to fill in a cafe order for 28 silver and the rest of the keep net was worth 83 silver. As you can see, not that much luck with Eid, so this is most likely now a Bream spot. So I had no more luck with Eid, so I decided to move spots a few times. I also did a very bad investment and bought myself a whole set of boilies and carp hooks and leaders to maybe try to get it on a boilie. But trust me, it was a bad, bad investment. You need to, to use pop-up boilies, but unfortunately, those are still locked for me. I think it's time to give the perch trophy a go. The spot I will try at is at 97.84. I will use a 30 gram sinker, size 1 hook, and night crawlers for bait. Clip size here should be around 10, 11, I think. And we have a first fish on. The first fish always determines your luck. And this is a big sleeper, actually. Could this be another trophy? No way. Another trophy? First fish I catch from here is a Chinese sleeper trophy. In the last episode, I went so dry for this trophy. Not the biggest perch, but it's target species, so I'm very happy. 400 grams. And another decent one. 800 grams. 
As you can see, the bite rate is absolutely crazy. I have so many fish already, and all of them are market perch. So, I mean, perch is not worth that much money, but it's still better than getting non-markers. This is a big perch, almost a kilo. By the way, the perch trophy should be around 1.6 kilos. So, that's what we're going for. 1.2 kilos, almost 1.3, another 800 gram one. I absolutely love this spot. This spot is so, so active. It's so much fun. And this is a big perch, another 1.3 kilo, almost 1.4. Time to sell all of the fish we caught in this one day. And we ended up making 70 silver from here. Not too bad. For your information, if you want to fish on this spot, then this spot is active only during the daytime. Don't be here during the nighttime. You will catch absolutely nothing. Another near kilo perch. The average size here is very, very nice. Then this perch is going. No, it's not a perch. It's a roach. No. Is it another trophy roach? It is. I think it is. Let's see. It is another trophy roach. Third one already this episode. Holy. 628 grams. 400 is the trophy size. I just googled and Chinese sleeper blue trophy is 700 grams. We were so close. It would have been our first blue tag and we actually have our first tension from this spot. And it is a solid one. It is time to sell all of the fish again. We got 9 silver for the perch cafe order and 10 silver for sleeper cafe order. 102 silver for the rest of the keep net. And the sleeper trophy, which was almost a blue tag, is worth 18 silver. Imagine how much is worth the blue tag. I just got back here at like 6am and we have our first decent fish on. Okay, this is a big perch. This is already close to the trophy, I think. 1.4 kilos almost. Not too far off the trophy. And a pike? I've got a pike on Nightcrawler. I've actually never had that happen to me before. Damn, this fish is actually fighting very hard. I'm not sure if this could be a trophy or not, but let's see in a second. Okay, this clearly ain't a trophy, but it still looks like a fairly decent fish. I predict over a kilo. Yeah, oh, almost 1.2. This spot just keeps giving and giving. The bite rate here is absolutely amazing. You guys should definitely come here and try it out by yourself. Oh, that looks like a very big perch. Let's see, how much does it weigh? 1.5, 100 grams of the trophy. Easy cafe order for 11 silver and the rest of the keep net, 56 silver. Not too bad, so we made 67 silver. You like to see it, a sleeper trophy. And another one. In total, I have three sleeper trophies in my inventory right now. By the way, since you only get perch here during the daytime, in the nighttime, I will actually try to go to the rough spot I discovered in my last episode of my trophy log series. So we'll see how much money we can actually make here in 24 hours in game time. The amount of silver we will get now will absolutely blow your mind. We have a few cafe orders to fill in. We have the rough order for 30 silver, two perch orders for 8 and 22 silver, and the rest of the keep net, which is worth 199 silver. So in total, we made 259 silver in 24 hours on Mosquito Lake. This is unheard of. I kept getting nice perch from this spot and had a very close call. It was a perch that was just 14 grams under the trophy size. Also, we got to level 19, which is absolutely amazing. Then not much longer, this fish took my bait. This fish is going hard, and I'm 100% sure it's, it's a perch. It was doing the flicks before, so I think it will do those soon again. Yeah, as you can see right now, it's uh, doing the flickering on the bar on the bottom. I think this could be our biggest perch now, which should be a trophy. Unless this fish is 13 grams under the trophy size, but I can already feel it. I can feel that this is a trophy. I just already want to see the perch picture in the collection log. I just hope I don't lose this fish because, you know, it was a pretty big trend for this episode to lose all the nice fish I had on the hook. Show yourself. Oh, this is a chubby one. But I'm actually scared because I don't know if this is a trophy. I don't make a difference between this one and the one that was 14 grams under. Oh, please. I beg you, game. Make sure this is a trophy. Yes, it is a trophy. It is 1.84 kilos. 1.6 is a trophy. Oh, I am so happy. I, I couldn't be happier right now. Yes. The ESP is pretty low. Kind of surprising. But yeah, thanks, chat. Thanks for the congratulations. Seeing this makes me just so happy. Only three more to go until we complete the whole mosquito log. If you enjoyed this episode, then subscribe to be notified for the next episode coming next Sunday. Everyone, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.